Hello guys, I'm uh, building again the on meter DLG. I want to share what I've learned so far with anyone uh, interested. For this build, I'm using XPS foam of about two centimeters uh, thickness. I'm gonna shape the leading edge of the bottom side of the wind because I'm only going to be hot wiring the top side of the wind. As you can see, the leading edge uh, is shaped. I'm gonna use these jigs, which are made from formica, between two pieces of wood. Or you can use this aluminum sheet, which is 0.2 millimeters uh, thick. It's easy to cut and shape into an airfoil. And I also make an 80 degree bend, so I can support the airfoil while I'm cutting top and bottom side but for this build I'm gonna use the wooden jigs since I'm shaping only the top side of the wing I place the airfoil from the bottom side and make the cut now onto the hot wire cutting I line it carefully, left and right side. Add weight so nothing uh, moves while I'm cutting. While I'm free cutting with this uh, jig, I use my fingers to maintain a certain height and I pull with minimum force using my right uh, finger as a pivot point. It is very important when you initiate your cut and as well as when you finish your cut to exit uh, at the same time from the, the left and the right side of your wing. As you can see I am applying minimum pull force just uh, letting the hot wire do the job by itself. Now let's see the result. As you can see, the cut is not perfect, so we will have to sand it. Sand very lightly and be careful. Almost finished here in the details and this is the finished wing the profile looks perfect for me at least this is the wing tip the profile again same good job now let's measure the thickness five millimeters Now again for the wind root and it's 9 millimeters, not bad. The root cord is 15.5 centimeters and the tip cord is 8.5 centimeters. Now we're going to do exactly the same job with the left wing. I'm just uh, switching the jigs, placing a spacer in between. Unfortunately, from this side of the wing, I did a mistake way off the profile of the airfoil while I'm uh, exiting. But it's not a big problem. I've cut uh, another piece and redoing the job. This time a little bit uh, better result, but again, the usual procedure, silent. The 
me the result. It looks very good, at least for me. Now I'm cutting the pattern. I'm going to be using it to soft the edges to make it look more beautiful. This is a free shape, whatever you like. And now I'm going to copy it on the wind. The XPS foam is very dent sensitive, so place a clear surface underneath the wing when you're working on it. And check for the last time if both wings are the same. Now I'm going to send it into an airfoil, the leading edge and the trailing edge by hand. Both wings are finished, the result is very satisfying. 11.5 grams for the right wing and 11.2 uh, for the left. Very good, thank you.